Good morning. Today is February 19, Friday. We'll be praying the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer. Our pages are as follows. For the breviary, our hymn will be found on page 47. Our first antiphon and the Psalms will be in 1593. Our reading will be on page 70. And the Gospel Antiphon at 71. The Benedictus will be in 10051. For the Christian Prayer Book, it's hymn number 92. First Antiphon would begin at 978, so with the Psalms. Reading will be found in 261. Gospel Antiphon of 262. And the Benedictus will be at 691. Let us have a moment of silence and prepare our hearts, our minds, as we welcome our Lord into our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A clean heart in me, O God, renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
create in me. a clean heart in me, O oh God. God. Renew, Renew in, in me, me a steadfast spirit. spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the King of the ages so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged. May he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the king of heaven every generation shall give joyful praise in you and shall call you the chosen one through all ages forever go then rejoice over the children of the righteous who shall be all gathered together and shall bless the less the lord of the ages happy are those who love you and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you as they behold all your joy forever. May my spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Rejoice, Jerusalem, for, for through all, you all, all men will, will be gathered, gathered to, to the Lord. Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters o'er frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Zion, Zion praise, praise your God, God who sent, sent his word to renew the earth. earth. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. Therefore, I will give him his portion among the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the mighty, because he surrendered himself to death, and was counted among the wicked, and he shall take away the sins of many, and win win pardon for their offenses the word of the lord thanks be to god through his sufferings my servant shall justify many justify a verb that means to be acquitted or declared innocent it uh, pretty much so shows that we are sinners in this scripture, the servant bears their iniquity. The legal action that is suggested here has been served. Well, no man is perfect. 
although this is not an excuse to sin because there are always consequences conscious or unconscious ignoring the fact that what we have done can hurt others just for our personal gain we can make ourselves think that we got away with it but the fact is there's always the principle of cause and effect natural law defines that a ripple effect will eventually come back to you sooner or later now thankfully there is a one a true servant for the whole humankind he ransomed me from my imperfection from my sins my weaknesses the ultimate serve servant who justified my shame my suffering through his suffering and death on the cross he rescued me from my own self-destructive mode lord jesus have mercy on us remember us when you go to your kingdom God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words and from, from the, the hunter's hunter snares. snares. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God, God himself, himself will set, set me free from the hunter's snare. When you meet those who are in need of clothing, do not turn away from them, for they are your brothers. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your good deeds shall go before you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When, when you, you meet, meet those who are in need of clothing, of clothing do not turn, turn away from, from them, for they are your near brothers. brothers. Then, then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your good deeds shall not before go before you. you. Let us pray to Christ our Savior, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, Lord have, have mercy on us. us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer and so enter into your glory. Bring, Bring your, your church, church to, to the Passover, Passover feast of heaven. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal, Heal our wounds. You made the cross the tree of life. Give, Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. baptism. On the cross you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive, Forgive us, us our sins. At this time, we'd like to spend a few moments to lift up to you, Lord, our petitions. Lord Jesus, 
receive our prayers as well as the prayers of everyone who is praying with us this morning. We ask, Lord, that you grant and answer them as we pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. us. Let us gather our prayers as one family. We pray the prayer your Son, Jesus, has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, with your loving care, guide the penance we have begun. Help us to persevere with love and sincerity. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May, May the, the Lord, Lord bless us, us protect, protect us from, from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.